Hello guys, John the 500 here with another highlight video and today I have a really good one for you so let's get right into the race. So I'm starting in last but I get a really good launch. I was also intending to do a mid drive speed boost but I couldn't hear my own car engine for all the sounds so I decided not to do the mid drive. There Kagan made some really weird move. He like completely miscalculated where he was supposed to turn because he didn't see the checkpoints as me. But I met everyone got started from that and I, that allowed me to move up into third position right off the grid. So from ninth to third in the first corner, that's that's <laughs> quite amazing. Uh, I don't think I would have been able to do it without Kevin Hunt's little mistake, but I pulled the best use of the situation. So as you see now Campo Colin and Kater Hunter are fighting for the top position and also I'm also is challenging me for a third position. So definitely a four way battle for the lead right now. Here I get up on the inside of Campo Colin a little bit but then I get a little bit of an oversteer which cost me third position. Uh, a little bit of an unnecessary risk to take at that at that situation, I would say, just because of you know, since uh, I'm also was straight behind me, so any small mistake would have lost me, and it did. So I probably should have stayed away from going for that, to be honest. But anyways, as you see, there are many people still behind, right behind. So it's definitely a tight grid right now. But I'm in fourth, and I started in ninth, so that's a. Uh, that's a really good start, even if I, if I lost one position there too, I'm awesome. Do you see, I'm awesome, goes up on two wheels, loses a lot of speed through this section and I'm reeling it in. And when we come to this corner here, uh, I'm also not managed to overtake Campo Colon. I try and go around the outside on Campo Colon, but I think when I try and dive in on the inside here, I lose a little bit of attraction. I almost drop one down to fifth, but managed to keep fourth at least for now. Later on in the race, I'm still following Campo Colon, but the guys are still right behind me. As you see, there you see the lights of AJ Axel 10, I would think that is. I keep on following him, trying my best. And as you see, very tight here, still making him his presence known. He there goes a little bit wide, but then there's another one on the left side, so it's definitely a tight race at this particular instance. As you see, there 40 has managed to work his way up. And as I've said before, I need to beat Ford in every race and I pretty much have to win every race also to be able to win the GT3 championship. So there's definitely a big train right uh, with Kante Colin in the front. So at this moment I felt kind of pressured to be honest to get past Kante Colin and you see he goes very close there in that corner and that allows me to dive in and take the the third position and try and build up some some space to the guys behind so so I'm, I was very happy to get that I felt some real pressure being behind a little bit of a slower guy or at least slower to me Campicolon is not slow by any means but still so moving in here you see Hayton Hunt made a mistake most likely hit an inside barrier and flew, flew out to the uh, edge or was it? No, it's not Campo Colin, it was uh, Caitlin Hunt, sorry. But anyways, I'm, I'm now up into second, which is uh, really great, you know, we're not far, in, far into the race and I've already worked my way up to second. But right now I'm awesome, has a comfortable gap to me. Anyways, at 22 seconds here, I uh, see some people behind me, I see I'm awesome at the front. But here, he makes a mistake, so when I come around this bend there, so I'm awesome, and I'm up into first. So in uh, six laps, I think this was the sixth lap, I managed to work my way from ninth up to first. And this is where things start going south. So you see here, there's a massive group of GT1s. Like, you remember this from the last video I've had of this track. Luckily that doesn't happen this time, but you see, 
people going on the inside there. Two of the guys that were involved in the off-road race were involved here and also Nema hit me in the back a little bit there, caused me to spin out. But the, uh, I'm still in first, so no problem there. So continuing on here is something, the first mistake I missed that checkpoint, so there I lose first and as you see there comes the guy who was in third and uh, he gets up on the inside of me here and the uh, cater hammer yeah, that is and he takes second position so by missing that checkpoint I lose lost two positions and uh, quite annoying to be honest I uh, had been doing really well at that point but as you may see during the entire race I was taking a lot of risks uh, I was cutting the corners a little bit too much, I was pushing really hard because for me it was win or nothing so I, I really just went for it. Um, it might have been better of course if I had saved a little bit once I got up into the lead but you know I was stupid not to think of that but here I get the inside line on Caden Hunt and uh, just as you see side by side but then I get a little bit of an oversteer at that section again and that allows Kaden Hunt to take the to win that battle but then a nice little side to side battle right there for you to see of course I have a little bit of an overspeed on him here and he's taking the shorter line around there so I'm just gonna try and hang on to him but I have to break a little bit earlier here because I'm not sure where he has his breaking point on that section so I didn't wanna run up into the back of him so I broke I, I hit my brakes a little bit earlier than usual Anyways, here you see, Caitlin Hunt has managed to build up a little bit of a gap, and now someone's coming up from behind, and that is Forty. As you know, Forty is right now in a huge lead, and he's the guy I really need to beat. So, it's uh, definitely a, a good battle. I would say my battle with Forty here is uh, the best battle of the entire race, like the best battles in the entire race I had with Forty. But anyways, as you see, just trying to keep him away. We'll do so for a little while. Um, here you see, 40 minutes in. And uh, he's uh, right behind me. Going to this section here. Get a little bit of a, a little bit of a sound in the wheels. I need to go a little bit in on this corner to make sure see his right there just reminding me so far that he's here so definitely he's putting a lot of pressure on me and there I get a little bit of a up with the wheels and that causes me to lose a lot of speed and he gets up beside me I still have the inside here so I can still salvage the position there he made a really smart move to hang around on the outside but I do so as well for this next section and I have the overspeed on him, so I can cut in in front of him, and that's the end of that battle. But a nice side-by-side -side battle right there, to, for, and this is for third position in GT3, so I'm definitely making for it sweat a little bit. So, into this section here, I hit the barrier on the inside, and I get up a little bit on the outside, which allows Ford to grab the inside on me and get past. An unfortunate situation if you ask me, uh, still I'm right on him so I can still do something so I try my best to get the fastest I can through this section right here and as you see here I got a better run on the inside in that corner and I managed to cut back into third position. So definitely a good battle, a good back and, back and forth here but he's still right there. There he hits me in the back a little bit and he's on the inside so I have to give him space and hang around the outside grab the inside but now he has the outside line the inside line in the next corner so I'll, I, I can I can really make any moves there so I just stop around and, and try to get around the corner as fast as I could so we wouldn't get too much of a gap as you see he's right there anyway so definitely now just need to try and put some pressure on him so he would make any kind of mistake. 
so I could uh, try and get past him again. You see he's right there with Abe Gunner still trying to lap him, he's slowing him down quite a bit. And I get up here, I try to cut here on the inside, but I cut way too soon and hit Ford in the back. So, it would have been interesting if I had managed to get up on the inside of him and then taken the outside. And then after that I would have had an inside corner on him. But still, turned in a little bit too fast, hit his back and that was the end of that attempt. So, I'm still on the back of 40, I've been following for a little while. And uh, here get a good cut here and I get a good exit for the next corner and uh, I'm on the inside of him so here's a little bit of controversy but I would say that 40 turned into me there and uh, I was far up enough on the inside to have secured the inside line so he definitely turned his own car on my car so I wouldn't say I had any blame in that situation he had he did the mistake there uh, however, here you see Evil Tunic disconnecting from the session. So right now I'm in third and since of for this little mistake there he has dropped back quite a bit so I have some free air. Anyways here I have caught up to Caitlin Hunt again. He's in second and I'm in third. So now he, as you see there he makes a mistake. Almost takes me out but that allows me to move up into second position. So right now I'm awesome is far and away in the lead. So definitely I think by this uh, session I'm awesome has already secured the lead. Here I make a horrible mistake in second place. And uh, that cost me so much time that both 40 and uh, Kate and Hunt got past me. So right now the lead is uh, I'm awesome in second we have uh, Kate and Hunt and in third we have 40 and 4th myself. So. Uh, I was quite pissed at myself to be honest after that mistake. You know, I should. I was still, you know, hoping that I would be able to catch up to I'm Awesome when I just should have given up on that battle and just focused on saving a little bit and securing third. But there you see, Kate and Hun went really wide, and that allows me to move up into third. But as you know, Ford is right, right ahead of me, and I know I have to, I have to beat him to be able to. Uh, what did you say? Like, stop him from winning, from taking the championship right in this round. But um, I'm gonna do, you know, what I can, of course, just try and catch up to him as best I can. And but Kevin Hunt is, you know, right on my tailbone, so I don't want to make any stupid mistakes. But of course, as you see, I'm pushing a little bit too much here. And I dived too much in here, and I missed that checkpoint. That's so stupid. Two checkpoints, and now I'm far and away fourth, and we're like 85 minutes in, so we just have like 15 minutes left, or something like that, so... Definitely in a bad situation right now, I'm far behind the guys in front. And as is normally in these kind of races, there a mistake seldom comes often. I was pushing like mad when I when I tried to catch up to the 40 and Kate and Hunt, but as you see there with the times, I'm now way too far behind to be able to catch them anymore in this race. So this is pretty much the end of my fight for winning the GT2 championship. Uh, 40 comes in in third for this. Uh, for this uh, race and uh, that means that he has secured the championship win overall in GT3 so congratulations to him you know great great race from him uh, I definitely fucked it up pretty much gave it away for gave the win to him in this race by missing those checkpoints and having those two crashes so definitely not happy with my own own uh, prestation in this of course I started in fourth no in ninth and I managed to finish in fourth so that's not bad by any means but considering I was up in in you know the in first for one section also it was like really bad and I was also on the pace so uh, definitely gave that one away so but let's move right on into the championship standings as you see here right here Smitty 112 has a good lead but Picano won that race and managed to catch up to him so Definitely a good battle right there with Macy in third and Nema a bit back. 
So it's gonna be interesting to see how the GT1 championship develops, uh, because right now it's, I think it's really nice, really even, and uh, I think Nema can do something. Uh, he so Macy and Nema are definitely gonna be fighting for, for third position. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Very interesting to see. In GT2 we have Abe Gunners who has got a really nice lead. And uh, I also want to say that Tom Tide has uh, retired from the championship, so he won't be there for the last two rounds. Which means that anyone be underneath him can catch up to him still. So Abe Gunners there in the lead and has a really comfortable lead now that uh, Tom Tide has dropped out. So uh, I don't see m many people challenging him for the top position, even though that Brophy is there. For but uh, it will be interesting to see if Mike or Ivor Rocco can catch up to and overtake Tom Tad's score because he is out. Anyways, here you see in gold 41st with 91 points and uh, a 21 point lead means that I can't I can't get over 91 anymore. But still, you know, I'm in I'm in a I'm in second for the moment. Like uh, for now, my my focus on this championship will not be to win anymore. It will be to keep, or of course I need to win, get so the best points I can. But I'm starting in second for the next round, so I have a really good, a really good starting position, and I think I'm gonna be able to do something about that. So right now I'm looking to become runner-up in the GT3 championship. But my my other main focus will definitely be in the teams championship that's coming up next year. And uh, Riches Majestic and uh, Ron is very very close in the top. So we're not going to be challenging them, but as you see, the fight for third is between five, no, four teams: West Coast Classics, Devon Western Premium Deluxe Motorsport, and Fleece Bank. So, it's uh, uh, we're aiming to get third, so it's definitely going to be a lot of challenge. But I, 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 I like the challenge; like it's really close uh, in the teams championship for PS4, anyways. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.